and welcome to Cards by Kendra. I'm so glad you're here. I am super excited to announce that we now have a scrapbook edition of Kendra's Card Challenge number seven. If you're not familiar with my quarterly card challenges, it is where you can create 15 cards using just six sheets of six inch by six inch pattern paper. Now with the scrapbook edition, you can create 15 scrapbook pages using six sheets of 12 inch by 12 inch pattern paper. Steph from Chaos in the Craft Room has put a lot of time and effort into converting the cutting templates and card sketches from the card making version to create the scrapbooking version. And I think it is such a wonderful idea. Just like with the card making version, you can have a chance to win lots of prizes by sharing your creations throughout the quarter. The challenge runs from July 1st to September 30th of 2022. Plus, there are 12 company sponsors with over $400 worth of prizes that will be given away. And I'll talk about those in just a moment. So if you're into scrapbooking, you can get lots of pages done and have a chance to win some crafty goodies in the process. So Steph has created a video to explain how to use the cutting templates to cut up the papers. And she's sharing a page that she created using sketch one. And then she'll later be sharing the other pages that she created using the other sketches in a future video. But basically, to sum up the challenge, you would use the cutting templates and scrapbook sketches that you see here. Now, this free PDF printable is available for download on my website, and I will have that link below in the description box. But basically, you'll need to pick out six coordinating 12 inch by 12 inch sheets of pattern papers and assign them to each of the color coded papers A through F. Then you'll cut the papers using these cutting templates and sort the pieces for each of the 15 scrapbook sketches. You'll also need some matching colored cardstock and then you can add your photos and decorate the pages with whatever stamps, dies, ephemera, or embellishments you'd like following these sketches. Now this challenge is not company specific which means you can use whatever supplies you have in your stash. The first two here that are red and blue are labeled as paper A and B. All of the measurements are listed for each piece and there are scissors on each template to show which part of the paper needs to be cut first. There are circled numbers on each piece which indicates which scrapbook sketch that piece goes with. There's also arrows to show the direction of how it will be placed on each of the scrapbook sketches. Now, If you have a directional pattern, you'll want to use that for papers B and D. So basically, if you have a rainbow and you don't want it to be upside down, you'll want to pay attention to those arrows. And then the triangles are where you'll cut out some banners. Next, there's an instruction sheet that explains how to use the cutting templates and how to enter the challenge. Then these are the scrapbook sketches. There's a total of 15 scrapbook pages for this challenge. So sketch number one shows pieces from papers A and B, same as sketch number two. And then sketch number three combines papers A, C, and D, and so forth. So it's all color coded and makes it easy. Now that little banner piece that's on sketch three can be swapped out with the optional pieces. And then for sketch number six, which we'll get to that here in just a second, this is where you're going to use an embossed, stenciled, or textured background. Now these sketches are flexible. You can use whatever shape or embellishments you'd like rather than the shapes that are shown on the sketch or the, sh the sizes of the photos, I should say. And you don't have to follow the sketch exactly. It's just the starting point to get you going. You can change it up if you need to to make it work with the supplies that you have on hand. And you can use colored cardstock to create your mats. And to keep costs down, remember you can cut out smaller mats from the larger ones that will be hidden behind the pattern paper or your photos. Plus you can rotate or flip the sketches if needed. Now last quarter, Steph did a video showing how she turned challenge number six into scrapbook pages. And I will link that video above here so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. I loved her idea so much. We've teamed up together to offer more of a variety to the paper crafting community where they can participate in these challenges because I know that there's a lot of people that love to scrapbook also. Now, as mentioned before, you can find the free printable to download on my website at cardsbykendra.com. 
The printable includes a link that will take you directly to my Facebook group called Kendra's Card Challenges, which is also linked down below in the description box. Request to join this group and once approved, this is where you will upload your photo of all 15 scrapbook pages into the KCC7 official entry photo album to enter the challenge. There are also separate albums for each sketch that you can share a photo of each scrapbook page individually. Now, even though the photo albums have cards in them, the sketches are similar for the scrapbook edition, and you can just add them here for this quarter. Next quarter, we'll have a separate photo album. Now, you can officially enter the challenge up to three times, but only once per month throughout the quarter. But please feel free to share all of your creations in the Facebook group if you decide to do more. We love to see all of the wonderful creations. Now, if you're not on Facebook, you can email me your photo and you can also upload your creations to social media using the hashtag Kendra's Card Challenge 7 and a few other hashtags that Steph included on the instruction sheet, just so that others can see your creations and be inspired. Now let's talk about all of the amazing prizes that you can win. As mentioned before, there are 12 company prize sponsors this quarter, and I will explain what those prizes are. Each month, you can have a chance to win a stamp set from Colorado Craft Company, a digital download of your choice from TLC Designs, and a confetti mix from This Calls for Confetti. At the end of the challenge, we'll draw winners for these prizes. A $25 gift certificate to Gina K Designs, a $20 gift certificate to Cat Scrappiness, a $25 gift certificate to Not Too Shabby Shop, a slimline die cutting system from Picket Fence Studios, a $25 prize pack from Pink and Main, a $25 gift card from Scrappy Tales Crafts, a $50 gift certificate to Sweet November Stamps, a $25 gift certificate to This Calls for Confetti, a $30 gift certificate to Trinity Stamps, and a $50 gift voucher to Whimsy Stamps. You can also see the full list of prizes on my website. In addition, Steph is sponsoring a gift voucher to scrapbook.com to be given away to a randomly chosen scrapbooker that posts in the official entry album. I want to thank all of the generous sponsors for their support. Now I would like to share some things with you in regards to picking out your pattern papers and a few other tips. Now, usually paper pads or collection kits have coordinating papers with patterns that go together, and I would highly recommend choosing double-sided paper so you'll have more options once you cut the papers. If one side doesn't match, you can always flip it over and use the other side. You'll want to look at each of the sketches to see which patterns will be paired together to make sure the patterns will look good. Try not to use two large patterns together. You don't want it to look too busy. Also, you'll want to take into consideration the colors in your photos. Try to pick colors in your photo, but don't. But you don't want to pick patterns or colors that will blend in with the background of the photos. The photos are what you want to stand out. That's why you'll also want to use some colored cardstock to map the photos. Try to choose colors that will complement your photos, but will also match your pattern paper. And you can double mat them if you need to try to tie together some more colors, especially if your pattern paper has several colors. I hope you'll join us on the scrapbook edition of challenge number seven and share your creations on social media. If you have a YouTube channel and you share a video of your creations on YouTube using the hashtag Kendra's Card Challenge 7, you'll get two entries into the contest rather than just one. I'd like to thank my channel patrons. This is a membership program where patrons receive a handmade card from me each month, plus additional membership perks like early access to quarterly challenges and additional free downloads. For more information, visit the Patreon link in the description box down below. If you think you might give this scrapbook challenge a go, leave me a comment and give this video a thumbs up. I'd also love it if you'd share this challenge with any of your crafty scrapbooking friends who might enjoy it. Now go check out Steph's video if you haven't already. She'll have more details about her scrapbook edition and some examples. I will have her channel linked in my description box below. Also, I'd love it if you'd like this video. 
click that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful crafty day.